So my Brooks story begins when I was in high school. And Bible college was not on my radar at all. I was not even thinking about ministry in any way. And I wanted to study music education. I wanted to be a music teacher. And so I applied to a school in Illinois, and I got accepted. And I was even becoming a part of the, the community there at the college. And that was right around the time COVID hit. And I had a lot of time at home to uh, study my Bible, and I had a lot of time during COVID where I was at my church helping set up, you know, uh, live stream equipment or cleaning or doing things where I was actively serving in the church. And uh, it changed the way I thought about the church and the way that I, I interacted with it, and it just put this heavy desire on my heart to be serving in the church and to be around the people in my church. In fact, with COVID being d deprived of them for su such a time, I, I just developed this great love for them. And I thought about ministry, and I, I thought, what is this? What, wh how does someone do that? Uh, why would someone do that? And uh, I went and talked to my pastor about it, and he said, well, you should uh, you should take some classes at Brooks and just see if that if that's what fits. Um, and at this time I was getting ready to go off to uh, music school and then this was thrown onto my plate and I was trying to figure out what, how that would work out. And I decided, okay, well, I'll, I'll give, uh, give music school a try and uh, maybe when I finish that I'll end up going to Bible college. And I, uh, I went there for one semester and I loved every second of it. I loved all the people I met. I loved the things I was learning, but it just didn't fit. And there was this, the entire time I was there, I had this heavy burden. There was this heavy burden on my heart to be studying God's word and be interacting with the people of my church more. And I was I was separated by from them for by a bit of a distance and drive at that time. And uh, so I decided, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transfer to Brooks. And so I did. And life has been very different since I, I've done that. It's been, I, I've, I wouldn't change it for the world. Because I, I've, I've gained so much from coming here. And I, I love every second of, it, of being here. And there are so many different things that I could say about my time here at Brooks. I, I could go on and on. I could spend all day talking about it. But if I had to narrow it down to a few things, I would say, number one, it would be the deepening of my understanding of God's Word. You know, uh, it was seven or eight years ago when I was in high school, and I, I wasn't a believer at the time. I had some friends who were Christians who kept inviting me to their church, to a Bible study, to their youth group Bible study. And I finally agreed to go with them, and... Uh, they handed me a Bible, and they and the youth pastor there, he said, you know, turn to uh, this passage. I, I don't remember what it was, but I couldn't find it. I, I didn't know, I didn't even know how to how to go about finding it. I didn't know how to use a Bible. And I, then I, I think about where I am now, and I, I know how to find things, <laughs> and I, I know what it says, too. And uh, I'm still learning more and more every day. And... At that time, I had no desire at all whatsoever to study God's Word. Now, I can't get enough of it. I, I just, I sit in my classes and when it's over, I'm upset that it's over because I have to go home and I have to stop learning from my professors. And I've, I've just, I've learned so much about God's Word and my love for it has been deepened too. But number two would be the experience experiences that I've gotten here. And that that could be through my evangelism class with Dr. Kirkland, where he took us out on the streets in St. Louis or in downtown Clayton, and he showed us through example how to share the gospel with people we've never met before that are just passing by on the street corner. Uh, he He gave us that experience of how to do it. Or it could be um, 
the homework assignments that I've gotten where uh, we had to take what we were learning in class and develop a, a teaching plan and go, go home and teach it to someone. And that led to uh, me developing a very close relationship with my grandmother where we would talk about scripture that ended up leading to her being saved. And uh, I, there's also me working here, which the, the school has provided a job for me. And I've, I've gained so much ministry experience here uh, just, just in the average day-to-day -day tasks of the functioning of the college. And, through, and that leads to the other thing, which is the relationships through my job here, through being a, a student here. I've met so many people. I, I've met, you know, other students. I, I, it's just so encouraging to have other people that I, I can come here and there are other people that are also just filled with joy when it comes to studying scripture and to teaching it to others. And uh, I get to talk to others who are, who are passionate about serving in the church. And I can uh, go to my coworkers, the other staff members here, and see people who are passionate about strengthening the church in, in, uh, with sound doctrine and to, develop, to developing people who, are, uh, who love to serve in the church uh, are my professors who are all uh, devoted to pouring all of their knowledge and ministry experience into their students. Um, or it could be the board members that I've gotten to meet who are who were just thrilled that there is a school here in St. Louis where they, they can, that they can help to build and strengthen that's teaching God's word and is holding, holding fast to, to uh, what the scriptures say. Um, and I, you know, I, I've never experienced a place where there, where there are so many people that are eager to learn and to teach God's word, and I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. And so I'm, I'm so thankful for all of the, all of my professors, all of my. The staff members here, all of my fellow students, um, I'm so thankful for all the donors, for the volunteers who come and help out at the college, because I, this is, this is a needed place, and I, I've benefited greatly from it. I've seen, I've, I've already start, started to see fruit from it, and some fruit that is eternal, like seeing the salvation of my my, my grandmother through. A little assignment I had through here. Um, so I'm very thankful for it.